hi friends so in this video we will learn the aggregate function how to perform the aggregate function in PySpark data frames there are many uh, aggregate functions like average count min max and we also perform group by commands and some other filters so uh, these are very important functions uh, so uh, let's apply those and uh, let's see how we can achieve it so I'm having a new file here. You can open the new file using this uh, Python 3 kernel file, right? So once you have it, so let's use the PySpark dot SQL and import the PySpark session, the Spark session. So once you have it, then let's create the Spark instance using this Spark session and using the builder dot app name and give some name here uh, we'll read the json file and we'll perform the aggregate function so just write agree of uh, applic app something like okay and then get or create okay spark is ready that's nice so let's have a data frame so data frame it's a json data frame just having this one so spark dot read dot json and here we can give this file name customer 010 customer underscore zero one and zero dot json okay, once we have it it's creating the it's creating the data frames yes data frame is ready here so if we are counting the records we can count how many records are 75 records right <clears throat> and if you want to check as we've checked before you can print the schema also this is our schema then uh, let's apply the group by on that so df underscore json dot group by and let's suppose you want to apply the group by on reason the reason is would be fine right so when you apply it you are getting the data is grouped you can see here okay and the type if you check of this type the type would be the data frame only we know it because the data is grouped but again it's a data okay it's a group data yeah the type is the group data fine okay let's perform the group by and then as we are performing this group on the reason so the command uh, uh, now we can use the mean function mean basically is telling like what is the average so if you want to get the average so you can use the mean function dot show okay. so df underscore csv df underscore not csv it's a json so in that way we are getting average of each of the each of the element like these are the reason which has been grouped and average of country id average of uh, this account balance customer id and all like that we are getting also if you want to perform something like data frame underscore json dot group by and let's like reason you can see how many reasons basically so you can perform something like the count right and dot show not yeah so it is showing us like uh, 
Asia, Europe, America, Africa, and these are I'm performing like a command here. You can say select count star as slash reason and from our table name like suppose this df underscore json and group by reason right in that way this command is exactly same to this okay which the data which we are getting here this command is same exactly to this yeah okay now um, I will try something else after this yeah give me a minute please okay the next we can try something like aggregate function directly ef and csv dot agg okay this is agg right so let's suppose as you were looking here because if you see that there is no sense to get the average of the C customer country id and the customer id maximum you can look for this account balance to get the average but here you are getting the average for everything this is looking a uh, little odd so let's uh, but this query is fine this query can work for us we can we can really know how many uh, uh, customers uh, inside this region inside Europe America Africa like that so let's perform something else which is really a, could be a requirement let's suppose you want to see the minimum account balance so minimum account balance uh, this is the account balance right let me take copy paste here and uh, I will write min and then dot show df underscore this is json So this is our minimum account balance coming here if in the case of you try the max then you can get the max also so this is the min this is the max and if you try suppose the AVG see we are getting the average of this particular account balance right okay um, in particular let's suppose uh, you are uh, uh, looking for something change let's suppose uh, we have df underscore json yeah, df underscore json dot uh, group by and we are performing in based on the reason right so let's take this data somewhere else in group by reason equal to right so now we have this grouped data just like that and here that and if you perform again the aggregate function on this one like dot agg and uh, same thing which we have performed before this account balance account balance and let's suppose you're applying min here and dot show okay so let's see what data you're getting so in that scenario uh, we are getting the grouped data uh, here uh, and the grouped data like these are the reasons we are getting group reason and which is the minimum balance uh, account balance there we are getting that record 
however if you want to perform it directly you can do it here as well you don't need to take this in into another data frame you can apply agg function here aggregate function here you can apply and you can perform that on balance and here i can perform like dot min dot show so that would also work for us right so we can apply min max and whatever we are looking like avg that's fine or count i don't know count let's see yeah count is also working because all these are the aggregate functions right so this command is something and now we can understand if we write here select count account balance and we are also getting the reason name from df underscore json group by um <coughs> group by yeah reason so yeah this is something we are getting here okay so next uh, let's apply the uh, because as we are applying this count average or whatever it is we are applying directly through this agg function so why not if we can try to apply directly so for that we would require to uh, use the namespace first so like the sql dot functions available and we have to import few things like we have count distinct we have avg average we have std dev deviation and something like one more is format underscore number so once we have these so why not we can try df underscore json dot select dot select yeah so let's apply the avg directly and uh, where you want to apply this uh, account balance okay so account balance is and dot show okay so you are getting the average here also as you are seeing like after this point we are getting many numbers so if you want to apply you can use the format number here so let's use here format number format underscore number and how many digits you want of the point so you can use two let's suppose and one more bracket would require so this is something we are getting now 6.01 right okay and uh, using like uh, this column name is coming something different okay so when we execute this command you can see we are getting this uh, average and the format number is also working but the name is uh, very weird i mean if you want to perform any alias so simply use the same thing and you can use dot alias and let's give this name like account balance and if you run it you will get the new name here and <clears throat> in the same way we are if you are applying this deviation function you can also try that one with the alias and you are getting this here like that yeah Furthermore, if you want to take this uh, data frame somewhere in different data frame, you can take it and uh, when you will uh, execute this type command, you would see the, X, the type is data frame, right? <clears throat> and directly then you can execute this show command and the account balance is coming. So this was all about uh, the aggregate function we tried with the PySpark. You can also practice this and make your concepts strong. 
so we will meet in the next video of the pi spark now so and thank you so much for watching this video thank you